turn the screen back on. So, we're trying that tower again. We try and get him with a backstab followed by a strong strike. There we go. And I'm wondering whether I should try and burst down the assassin or whether I should try and let him sort of whittle him down a bit and then burst him down when he tries to flee. Considering how little burst down I have and how hard he was the first time, I'm going to go with burst down from the start. Oh good, they're not following me. Soul geyser time. Soul spear time. Ouch, that was his horribly big combo, wasn't it? Come on. Whoops. Oh, it's not about... It's not about half health at all, is it? Hmm, thank you for letting me drink. No, he just tries to flee at some point. Well, this time we're a little better prepared. We have lots of heavy soul arrows, and we have light for this dark place, and we have curse protection. For some reason, we have no damage against these guys, but that should hardly matter. Just keep shooting them. I wonder if I can jump over there and get the melee. Not that I would, of course. Oh, well, that's nice. Now, since the next guy doesn't die, we won't worry about trying to kill him. We'll just try and keep him from shooting at the bow. Or even swords. And, oh yeah, then there's this guy. So, while dodging flame struck sword, I have to magic kill him. Ouch, this isn't going so easily. And we don't want to get cursed this time, we ran out of light. All the stuff coming in at once. Go on. Throw out a combo. Go on. Throw out a combo. Throw out a combo that misses. Throw out a... Ah, oh yes, that one's really slow to recover from. I love it. Now, if we could just have that guy die, then we wouldn't have a worry about running down this assassin. Whereas currently... bit of a iffy situation. But now we've killed him and aggroed him and Fire Guy actually is wanting to shoot me from afar. And as long as he does that, we're actually safe to engage here. Unfortunately he, he has not he has now changed his mind and I am cursed. Oh well. Now the shielded guy is going to be a little harder to knock down. Oh shit. That's the easiest way to die here. I might even get out one of my soul great swords the next time he tries to. Uh... Alright, I really should save some. Soul mat sorceries for the assassin at the bottom. Unless I die first. Quick, look around. There's a chest and and a chest. Okay, it's not the bottom floor on which there is the ashen idol. 
And it looks like he tries to flee when he thinks he can get away. So I really should just hammer in trying to kill him as quickly as possible. And also, when he tries to flee, switching to melee with my primary weapon so that I can backstab him might also help. So unfortunately, I can't backstab with the secondary weapon Falcon. Oh, I guess someone does like shooting arrows. Ah, but he's up there. He's not crossing over. Okay, well, he'll give up soon enough. And the retrieval, very nice and convenient. Maldron the Assassin Jerk is here. Okay. Oh, now that's just cruel. A respawning NPC throwing acid flasks to destroy my equipment. Nope, he's getting away. Ah, he's getting away. He has gotten away. And what I should do is I should bring back Shockwave to knock those guys down. I also wonder if it has better tracking capabilities for chasing him down. I can try that and that still leaves enough Shockwave to take out one of these guys. Hmm, this is working too well for me to try jumping down on him. Alright, and now... I have no soul spears left. We want to use great heavy soul arrows to take out that axe guy. For as long as we can keep him targeted. Ooh, so close. Well, I think we can target him again. Excellent work! And he actually dies, yes! Good, now I need to find a way to kill him. Which is where we're expecting the challenge. And we're gonna get cursed again, but that's okay. Oh. That was totally the wrong set of moves. Come on. Give me your best combo. The one where you lie down. Excellent. Okay, now let's see what we can do about Halberd Man. Yes, keep trying to shoot me. Halberd Man has raised his shield. And has died. Now, as long as Flame Guy keeps shooting me with arrows, I can start shooting Maldron again. Now, he does have a bit of unfair NPC help here. Um. Ouch! Damn it. Let's see if we can get Maldron to come up. He's hesitating. And he's using his shield. And I'm out of spells. Did I put herbs in here? No. No, that would be 
That would make it too easy. We can't have that. Well, at least I'm pretty sure the herb got used. Yes, there we are. Oh, if only I could knock him off the tower. I bet that would take care of his respawning. Unfortunately, it would have to be all the way off. Okay. We have light. We have soul mass and soul geezer. And we have another one? What the... We're going to go all this way just to determine whether they stop spawning. And whether he stops healing. Oh god, he doesn't stop healing. So, we're actually kind of screwed here. We, we better go up to the top, see who follows us. But if he heals every time he goes back down, and if neither of them can be persistently killed, um... can't be an assassin if you keep running away. Yeah, if neither of them can be persistently killed. And if he... Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Unless I manage to get someone anyways, despite these annoying rules. Or die. Yeah. So this is going to require a bit of thinking. Um, I'm thinking that if I lure him up to the top, or oh, replacing Curse Bite Ring with a Ring of Binding, it's another way to resist curses. Um, if I lure him all the way to the the, the flame armor that doesn't die. If I lure it all the way to the top and then kill it and then run, maybe it won't reacquire me. If it doesn't reacquire me, that's fine. That's, he's good effect. We're past him. Okay. So we didn't manage to get past him. But that's okay. We'll try again. Maybe we'll kill them all and drink all our Estus, but that's fine. We had four Estus left over last time. Maybe I should have just ran past them like I always do. But we're getting our retrievals so far. Now I think the rule is that we're going to keep trying this tower until we fall off the iron chain while trying to get a retrieval on at that point. At that point it's over. Wait, wait, wait. It only just occurred to me. When does he chase you down? Can I run all the way to the bottom without aggroing him? We have a new way of defeating him! <laughs> it's the I run right past him as if he's not there approach. Alright, well let's just, for a while, let's pretend he's not there. Damn phantoms.
Well, people who can die are dying. And we're getting cursed, but... <coughs> but I don't think there's another level of curse, so... Oh, ho ho Nice. Yeah, we're getting cursed. It's doing nothing. Excellent, and that's falling. Okay, it's doing something. Never mind. But... Okay, come on. Let's melee me again. I want you to fall to me in melee. Ouch. So I can run away. Run. Run! Damn it! The run function isn't working reliably for me. Okay, run right into my own death. He's still shooting me with arrows. Okay, fine. I can take another arrow. That's fine. Um. Now. We want to check. If we go up higher, because Maldon the Assassin this appears to be an optional fight. Who I'd, I'd just love to fight him if he was willing to take persistent damage. That's our curse resistance right there. Run, 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 run. There we go. Now I don't know if that's fast enough. But I'm optimistic. Cautiously optimistic. Because if we've lost him. That just leaves one annoying arrow guy. I think we've lost him. I think the assassin isn't chasing us. We're immune to cursed in our own special way. I'm going to use up my soul spears on clearing this guy. For ensured victory. He does not seem particularly vulnerable to magic. So we will finish it with... Melee. There we go! He's not dying, but it will buy me enough time to use a smelter wedge. And I'm really hopeful that the smelter wedge is what's needed. To make these guys die. Because it appears to be clearing up the... Appears to be clearing up the darkness. And maybe it re-aggroed that guy. But it's also possible that they sort of moved a bit because now... They're vulnerable. I'm, I'm hoping that his 
transformation was due to his suddenly being vulnerable. His souls are mine! Finally, okay, we've learned the secret of the tower. It was a very easy secret to guess. This part I did not guess at all. Majestic Greatsword is mine! No backsies, let's go. Um, yes, I have a reasonable sorcery to use. Come on. Come on. Ouch. Out of stamina. Oh. Shit, I'm alive still. I'm alive. What? How, why am I alive? I shouldn't be alive. You should never have let me stay alive. It's totally not what you wanted. Now, I'm not going to have any souls left for the assassin, but that's fine. Sorry, any soul sorceries. Oh, shit. Come on, fight me. Now, how about this, Flax? Yes! Okay. Fortunately, I wasn't as foolish with the life gems as I was with the herbs. The life gems are in the quick slot bar. Come on, let's have some herbs in there. Why don't I see them? There we go. I have cleared out this area except for the assassin. It's going to be a pain, but at least we'll fight him up near the top. Where the retrieval is easy. And we've gotten the Ashen Soul Shard. And I was hoping the scepter was here too, but no biggie. And another small orange burr. Let's put the... They're way right up here. Okay, well if you're in a... If you're in a hurry, probably better to consume the amber herbs. Same reason we're having the other life gems. But since we're not in a hurry, let's use up another water. First, any spells that I should be casting before greatly. There we go. And then, crimson water. Gives me the HP that I need and the spell that I need, spells that I need. And finally, we're going to actually try and fight that annoying assassin. And this time, if he tries to flee, we will chase him down until he dies. This is not looking like the same greatly restored spell uses that I want. Oh. The range on that thing. I want to kick him down. Excellent. This time, after using a life gem, we will hunt him down if we can do so safely and fight him down here if we can do so safely and he does have to he doesn't heal for free good and as always by the time that I've finished running around 
The homing soul mass is gone. See, no backstabs. Good, he doesn't heal for free. He has to drink Estus like the rest of us. Which means a spot of vulnerability. He died! That's what's important. Probably lost any unique items, but we'll see if he invades again. Um, I think I will just run to get that retrieval. Purely for a point of pride. We don't like losing retrievals. Also, to just see whether he actually is dead or not. Because if he comes back, we have to fight him again. And then I'm going to have to really consider whether that's worthwhile. I need to stop running over here. In the end, it does not make things faster. Decide to take the risk there. Because he has that shield, it can be really, really annoying to fight him in a near corridor unless he's vulnerable, like opening with that attack. Okay. It sounds like someone tried to follow me and fell off a cliff. But the assassin is not respawning. These enemies are not respawning. The dark curse area is not respawning. Okay, so that, that is that item there that I need to try and get. And there's my retrieval, which I want to try and get. Ouch. Not entirely sure why I'm using Soul Geezer on him. We've shown these guys are fairly resilient to magic. So we'll just let them do their thing. And we'll hit them with enchanted swords. Enchantments, nice way of getting some physical damage into mages for when magical damage fails. I know that mages hate to admit that can happen, but it does far too frequently. There's a retrieval. Now, I don't think this retrieval would include his soul. I think that that double death is actually going to mean that his souls, maybe even his items, are lost. Which sucks. That's going to be vulnerable to being shot at. We just have to be 100% sure that his stuff's lost beyond redemption. Um, which unfortunately is going to involve aggroing that guy. But it's okay. We have reach. <laughs> and the nice thing about how tall the Staff of Wisdom is, it looks like I can just stand where his bow isn't going to go through the stairs. He's not happy with that agreement, so... Melee it is. I 
still didn't test out Shockwave. Oh well. And nothing down here. Let's not cause everyone to respawn. Finally have a chance to get out of this tower, go back to the main one, and never have to return again. In fact, I'm going to use the aged feather and call this the end of a segment.